Hey subbies, I can't wait to review Junie B. Jones as the beauty shop guy with each and every one of you. I love the Junie B. Jones series because of how much personality Junie B. Jones has and how she doesn't let anything stand in her way. We all can take a lesson from Junie B. Jones because we should never let anything stand in our way of achieving our dreams and goals and success in life, including ourselves. Junie B. Jones has been inspired to be a hairdresser ever since she had wanted to change her name to Pinky Gladys Gutsman. Pinky because pink is her favorite color and Gladys Gutsman named after the snack lady that works at her school. And she goes along with her father to his haircut but she finds out that they're going to a beauty shop and her father couldn't be more embarrassed when she shouts to the entire street that her father is going to a beauty shop and she gets to help out the hairdresser who is cutting her father's hair by being her assistant because Junie B shows her her name badge and she says that's a wonderful reason for her to be her special helper for the day. She starts out by having Junie B hold a towel so she can dry off her father's hair after the hairdresser whose name is Maxine washes his hair. Unfortunately, Junie B's nose gets itchy and she blows her nose in the towel but still says that Maxine can use it to dry her hair because she is not even that contagious. She says, thank you, I appreciate that. But she grabbed a brand new towel to dry off Junie B's father's hair. And Maxine then gives her a broom to start sweeping the hair that Maxine cuts. Only problem is when Junie B is sweeping, she sweeps the entire store and a customer wouldn't get out of her way, so she ended up sweeping the customer's foot. The customer was not very happy with Junie B. Jones. And her father, being extremely embarrassed, gave Maxine the money and they left there quick as a wink. And Junie B, after that experience, was extremely excited to start her career as a beautician, but her father tells her it takes years and years and years of practice. So Junie B realizes that she must start right away, and the first thing she starts with experimenting with cutting hair is her faux fur bunny slippers. And she says that after she had cut the faux fur bunny slippers that... Bunny fur grows back, I'm almost sure of it, possibly, sort of. She's very confident in her work. And so then she realizes that her friend at school, Grace, says that she's going to be a shampoo girl. So Ginny B realizes that that might be something she'd be better at compared to cutting hair. So she starts when she gets home with washing her teddy bear. But unfortunately, when she's washing the teddy bear, the teddy bear becomes so soggy with water that she ends up putting the soggy teddy bear under her bed along with the faux fur bunny slippers. But she realizes that when it comes to cutting hair, she needs to cut hair that grows back. So her dog Tickle runs into her bedroom and she decides that he is the perfect way for her to practice cutting hair. But unfortunately, because she hasn't had years and years of practice, that dog gets the most interesting haircut ever imaginable. And so she tries to dress her dog up as a human by putting a sweater on the dog and a baseball hat over the dog. So hopefully her mother won't notice. Her mother does notice and chases her all around the yard asking her if she has to be watched every single minute possible. Junie B has become the expert of rhetorical questions. To find out how Junie B's career and quest into becoming a beauty shop guy is going, I can't wait for you to read the book and let me know your thoughts on this amazing Junie B. Jones as a beauty shop guy. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite chapter book is I'd love to know I can't wait to review it here on my YouTube channel and on my Instagram I would love it for you to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to turn on your post notifications 
so you don't miss out on any of my amazing, wonderful, fun videos that I have to share with each and every one of you. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I don't want you to miss any of them. I would also really love it if you would follow me on my social media. My Instagram is Comedy Creation. I love to share library hauls, book reviews, and some fantastic food photos. Check out my Twitter. My Twitter is Comedy Addict. I love to play hashtag games because I love being able to share that hilarity and creativity with each and every one of you. My newest addition to my social media is my Facebook page. My Facebook page is Papa Apple. On my Facebook stories, my Instagram stories, and my Twitter fleets, I always share my newest thumbnails for my upcoming videos. On my Instagram stories, I also include a countdown that when you click on the remind me, it will turn on a reminder and let you know in your time zone when the new video will be going up. All of my social media will be linked in the description box below. I really hope you enjoyed this wonderful book review. I can't wait to share many more wonderful book reviews with each and every one of you. I truly appreciate your kindness and your support. It means the world to me. I can't wait to see you in the next video, subbies. Until then, sensational smiles go for miles. Be sure to subscribe and stay a while. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, subbies.